Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. For today's Curry Cup Round 10 review, a very, very interesting weekend of rugby. We saw only one team really dominate the other with the Bulls hammering the Greek with 40 points, 20. Apart from that, uh, lots and lots of close matches. The uh, the biggest points difference apart from that game was just six points um, apart from that four points and two points. So a very close weekend of Curry Cup rugby, which makes it for quite an entertaining tournament. And I said, the one thing I will say is there's a lot that we need to talk about with the Curry Cup. There's a lot that needs to happen with the Curry Cup. But it's been quite entertaining. There's nothing nothing else. It has thrown up quite a lot of entertainment so far. It's throwing up quite a close table. It's, it's throwing up some very interesting dynamics and very interesting um, performances and quite a lot of talking points about the Curry Cup. Before we look at what happened over the weekend and, and look at what sort of it means for the uh, for the for the for the tournament and and the log. Please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So these are the results of the past weekend. So first of all, uh, the Western Province beating Griffins on Friday, which you know you'd imagine they should, but by just four points. So that's a really good effort by the Griffins, who are starting, I think, to sort of settle into the Curry Cup Premier Division. Um, it's always going to take a while when you come into play a, a standard of rugby a lot higher than what you're used to with against teams which have far more resources than you do, even though. Yes, it is a Western Province weekend side, for example, because they did have a URC semi-final. They'll be able to play a full side this weekend, for example, uh, with a couple of players maybe from the URC teams dropping down, the likes of a Sasha Payne and Gomazuri, for example. Uh, you know, maybe a, a Ben Jason Dixon could be playing. You know, a couple of the players who haven't played too many URC games. Leon Zatz probably could use another uh, run out this weekend. So, uh, and also with no traveling uh, for the Stormers, they probably can also afford to, to, to play a couple of other players in the Curry Cup. Um, but uh, we then saw the Sharks beating the Pumas. That's a huge victory. And last week, you know, the video was titled Joey Mangala starting to show his class. Well, this is another big result for him. Uh, they're on such a good run at the moment, are the Sharks, playing in the side that is slightly weak. And obviously now more URC players filtering into the side, um, but a really important victory, as was the Lions beating the Cheetahs. Now, yes, Cheetahs had a bit of a late uh, comeback, Lions getting a lot of their URC players back. But I don't think, you know, it's, it, first of all, it wasn't, it wasn't a full URC side from the Lions. Um, and the Cheetahs are outside that plays in the Champions Cup. I mean, the Challenge Cup. So, I think they were pretty evenly matched. I think the Lions and they had more on paper, but playing away. And uh, it's a nice big boost from Zwarka and Corsi's men who are desperately trying to get themselves to that top four race. And then a big result for the Bulls, hammering the Greek was away. That's a bit of a uh, a bit of a sign of intent, I think, about what Jake White wants to do and how important that uh, the, the, the competition is for him. He is a big advocate of that carry cup. Doesn't really like where it is at the moment but uh, is very much one of the ones that, you yeah, know, tournament that he really would like to win and make sure the Bulls do well in. So what does that mean? This is what the table looks like. Now, this is what I mean by how close it is. If you, if you look at uh, the Sharks, all of a sudden, sort of putting a little bit ahead of the sort of fight for, uh, for fourth. The Cheetahs still in the top of the table uh, with 38 points uh, after seven wins and three losses. Uh, so a pretty good result there for the Lions. Uh, Pumans in the second place with 35 points, Sharks with 33 points. So, so all of a sudden, they could be a bonus point win away from catching up with the Cheetahs, for example. Uh, the Western Province on 27 points, and they currently have that fourth place. But uh, the Lions just behind the 24 points. So when they play against each other, that'll be a very important game. Uh, the Greek was, despite that loss, just one point behind the Lions, and Bulls two points behind the Lions. Griffin's down nine points. They're pretty much out for the running. But this is the thing. Seven teams still very much in the running for the Curry Cup. And if you look at the pictures this weekend... Uh, they should be very interesting because you've got the Cheetahs taking on the Sharks. So that's a first versus third battle. Again, if the Sharks can keep the Cheetahs uh, at bay and, and, and prevent them from scoring points, they can catch up quite a lot. Pumas taking on the Western Province. So, you know, if the Pumas were to win, they can create a nice buffer. But if they were to lose, Province could suddenly be right behind them. Lions taking on the Bulls. Very important result for the Lions. A win there will, will give them a lot of distance between themselves and the Bulls. The Greeks are taking on the Griffins. So you expect the Greeks to get the job done there. Um, so... It should be quite interesting just to see how uh, that goes. We're now into week 11, uh, you know, and uh, 11 or 14. So really the next probably two or three weeks are, the next two weeks are quite important. You know, the, the, the Cheetahs probably need about two more wins and they'll sort of guarantee that spot in the top of the table and in, in the top half of the table and get a semi-final berth. The final round of group games is on the 9th of June. And that's the weekend before the final, I think there's a week late or semi-finals and then final on about the 27th of June or whatever it is that Saturday. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven, and I'll chat to you soon.